Okay, blood connected tissue. These slides are made for Anatomy 10A Lab at Mount San Antonio College. The four main tissue types we have in the body. Epithelial tissue, connective tissues, muscle tissues, nervous tissue. Right now, I'm going to focus on connective tissues. What's the characteristic of connective tissues? Well, we have scattered cells. Uh, by the way, connective tissue is the most diverse type of tissues in the body. We have, in addition to scattered cells, that can vary depending on the tissue uh, type. We have proteins that we see outside the cells. Sometimes there's a lot of protein, sometimes there's not that much. The matrix, that's the stuff outside the cell, can vary as well. It can be liquid, semi-solid, or solid. And then lastly, oftentimes we will see connective tissue under epithelial tissues. Okay. So because of the varying amount of cell, varying types of cell, varying amount of proteins, and the different types of matrix, connective tissue is the most diverse. Okay, so let's talk about the matrix being a liquid. Okay, if the matrix is a liquid, then it's going to be in this column under fluid connective tissue. And when it's fluid connective tissue, we're talking about blood. Okay, so in blood, the cells that we will see would be red blood cells and white blood cells. The matrix would be plasma. Okay, so here is a sample of blood. Okay, obviously you know blood is in blood vessels, okay? But if you don't know that this is blood, that would not be an easy question to say, name this location. Um, blood is pretty straightforward. These are red blood cells. There are many, many red blood cells, and perhaps that's why our blood is red, because there are way more red blood cells than white blood cells. <coughs> Besides, these are white cells. They look very odd. They kind of stands out like a sore thumb. You do not need to know in anatomy 10A the specific name of these white blood cells. We will be happy with just calling them white blood cells. In addition, I want to point out, it's not on your list, but I do want you to know that this is platelets. Okay, this little, looks like leftover if you will, or a little smudge of dirt. That's platelets. That's the stuff to help you clot. So here is a low power. Most of these are red blood cells. Here we have a couple of white blood cells. Like I said, it stands out like a sore thumb. And the, the space in between this, that would be blood plasma. Okay. Don't worry about the specific names of these uh, cells. Just know them as red cells or white cells. Okay, that's good enough. And this is platelets. So here's high power. You see a lot of red blood cells. You see two white cells, white blood cells. And then all of this in between is plasma. Here's another slide of blood. Okay. Red blood cells. All the space in between would be plasma. We have several white blood cells in this slide. And we have multiple platelets in this slide. Here's another blood picture. White blood cells here, white blood cells there, white blood cells there. All of these are red blood cells. And then we have a couple of platelets, okay, a few platelets there too. And the rest of this is plasma. On low power or medium power, I should say, you see a lot of red blood cells and one white blood cells. Lots of platelets, okay. I'm sorry, uh, I didn't mean to say platelet. This is plasma, okay, that's not platelet, that's plasma. This is really low power. See a lot of red blood cells, three white blood cells, and then the white space in between, that's plasma. This is magnified 400 times, and all you see in this slide is red blood cells, maybe a couple of platelets, okay, a couple of platelets. Here you see white blood cells, okay, white blood cells, and these are red blood cells. This is very high power, obviously, and the rest here in between would be plasma. 
Sometimes the stain is a little different, more orangey than red. So here, same thing, red blood cells. That's the white blood cell. And in between would be plasma. Just want to remind you, red blood cell is unique in that it does not have any nucleus. Okay. None of these red cells have nuclei. And that's normal. A red blood cell job is to carry oxygen. So it lost its nucleus to make more room for hemoglobin to carry more oxygen. Uh, so it's unique in that it's, it's like just a, a circle and no nucleus, no organelles visible. Just know that's red blood cell. White blood cells, on the other hand, is unique in that their nuclei vary. Sometimes the nucleus is very convoluted. Sometimes it's just a dark circle making up most of the, of the white blood cells. Uh, but either way, they're bigger than the red cell and they stand out and it's easy to spot them. Okay, so white blood cell. Here we have another image of blood. All of these are red blood cells. And here you see two white blood cells. Okay, stand out like a sore thumb, like I said. And you see a little bit of platelets around. And then the white spaces would be blood plasma. And that's it.